हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास यू सी दिस इज फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम इन मैक्सिमम मिनिमा अप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डेरिवेटिव्स एक्सरसाइज नंबर 6.5 यू ऑब्जर्व व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग इन द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द एब्सोल्यूट मैक्सिमम एब्सोल्यूट मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शंस वी नीड टू फाइंड एब्सोल्यूट मैक्सिमम एंड एब्सोल्यूट मिनिमम ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शंस टोटल फोर फंक्शंस आर देयर in this you need to observe one thing all the functions defined on closed interval this is important while calculating absolute maxima absolute minima when the function is defined on closed interval we'll follow the particular procedure if this is open interval minus 2 comma 2 then what procedure we will follow now same procedure we cannot follow if it is open interval right so here uh, just i'll try to explain uh, some randomly one example suppose a function is like this this is we'll suppose this is minus 2 this is plus 2 we'll suppose like this okay and the function is like this the function is like this okay now uh, they defined function on closed interval minus 2 comma 2 na so what we'll do uh, we will calculate the critical points critical point means you see at this point tangent is parallel to x axis now we will find this point and you see this point we will find this point you know critical points we discussed in first uh, class of maximum minima right we will find the critical points okay after finding the critical points you can see total four things will be available here this is the one point this is minus 2 comma 0 this is the second point i and this is the third point and and this is the fourth point 2 comma 0 we'll substitute these points in the given function we'll substitute these values in the given function like f of 2 f of minus 2 and whatever points we'll get here those points we'll substitute in the function which value is highest which value is highest that is known as absolute maximum value which value is least that is known as absolute minimum value okay so if you do one or two problems you will get clear idea what is the basic thing here first we will find critical points how to find the critical point they'll give function f of x na we will calculate f dash of x and we equate it to 0 and we'll find the x values for what x values f dash of x is 0 <coughs> okay so those x values are the critical points we discussed all these things in earlier classes also right we'll find the critical points afterwards f of minus 2 f of 2 and critical points also will get na those things we will substitute in the given function which value is the highest one that is the absolute maximum value which value is the least one that is the absolute minimum value what i am trying to say here <coughs> whenever <coughs> whenever we find maximum minimum values in a closed interval at that time we will follow this procedure in this problem we are not using first derivative test we are not using second derivative test as the function is defined on closed interval a comma b and they are asking absolute maximum value absolute minimum value we will follow this procedure let's see what is that procedure okay now uh, first point we need to find the critical points okay what is the function f of x first bit you see first bit they given f of x equal to x cube okay f of x equal to x cube this is the first bit okay calculate f dash of x what is derivative of x cube derivative of x cube is 3x square okay now you need to find the x values for which f dash of x equal to 0 okay if f dash of x equal to 0 that means 3x square equal to 0 what is x square from this x square equal to 0 from this what is x x equal to 0 okay x equal to 0 we identified the critical point x equal to 0 after calculating critical points you observe as the function is in minus uh, closed interval minus 2 comma 2 na what things to be calculated we will calculate f of minus 2 and f of 2 and critical points you see here we got x equal to 0 na we will calculate f of 0 okay so what is the function f of x equal to x cube is the function right you calculate f of minus 2 f of minus 2 that is what minus 2 whole cube in this function wherever x is there there you write minus 2 minus 2 whole cube is what minus 2 whole cube is minus 8 okay next you calculate f of 2 what is f of 2 2 cube 2 cube is what 2 cube is 8 
So we calculated f of minus 2, f of 2. Now calculate f of 0 also, critical points. Here we got only 1. In case if you got a 0, 1 here, we will calculate f of 1 also. Right. We will calculate f of 0, 0 cube. 0 cube is 0 only. You observe, this is the highest value. So 8 is the absolute maximum. And what is the least value? Least value is minus 8. So this is the absolute minimum for the given function. So I'll write those things here only. See, uh, or else we'll write here. <coughs> Therefore, uh, absolute, what they're asking, absolute maximum value, absolute maximum occurs at what point? <coughs> at x equal to 2. See, at this point, it is maximum. Absolute maximum value at x equal to 2. Absolute maximum value at x equal to 2 is what is 8. Similarly, what we will get absolute minimum, absolute minimum, absolute minimum value at x equal to minus 2 is minus 8. These are very easy when the function is defined on a closed interval a comma b. To find absolute maximum value, absolute minimum values is very easy, right? In the same procedure, we will do the second bit also. You see the what is the second bit? f of x equal to sin x plus cos x, okay? This is the second bit, we will go to the next page, right? f of x equal to sin x plus cos x. What to find? We need to find absolute maxima, absolute minima of this function. And you need to observe one thing, the function is defined on closed interval a comma b. Same procedure. So, what first what we will do? We will find the critical points. Okay. f of x. What is f of x? f of x is sin x plus cos x. f of x is sin x plus cos x. You calculate f dash of x. Derivative of sin x is cos x minus plus actually. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus of minus is minus minus sin x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Okay. Now, if f dash of x equal to 0, if f dash of x equal to 0, that means what cos x minus sin x equal to 0. Now you need to find the x values which satisfies this equation. You need to find the x values which satisfies this equation. I will simplify this equation. What I will do? I will take uh, the sin x to the other side. Then what you will get? You will get cos x equal to sin x. Divide both sides with cos x. Then you will get a uh, tan x equal to 1. It can be understood. Both sides you divide with cos x. This side you will get 1. Sin x by cos x is tan x. So we got an equation tan x equal to 1. Now you need to find the x values which lies in this interval and satisfying this equation. What are the x values? See here tan x is positive. Plus 1 is there. This is positive. We know that tan x is positive in first quadrant and third quadrant. 0 to 180 means it is in first and second quadrant. In second quadrant, we won't get any x value which satisfies this equation. We will get the x values which lies in the first quadrant. We will find x values in first quadrant only. You observe this is closed interval 0, comma pi. That means 0 to pi by 2, pi by 2 to pi. First quadrant, second quadrant. We cannot find any x value in the second quadrant such that tan x equal to 1 because in second quadrant tan x is negative. So first quadrant, what is the value? This is your favorite value now. You know, we used this so many times. Whenever tan x equal to 1, what is x? x equal to pi by 4. Okay. We got x values, x equal to pi by 4, critical points. Here also we got only one value. Now what to do? We will calculate f of 0, f of pi and f of pi by 4. Which value is the maximum? That is the absolute maximum. Which value is the least? That is the absolute minimum. Right? So what I will do now? I will calculate f of 0, f of 0. What is f of 0? In this function, in place of x, you write 0, right? f of 0, sin 0 plus cos 0, okay? Sin 0 plus cos 0. Sin 0 value is 0, <coughs> cos 0 value is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, okay? Now, I uh, will just take this function. Now, I will calculate uh, f of pi, okay? Calculate f of pi. What is f of pi? In this function, in place of x, you write pi, f of pi, that is sin pi plus 
cos pi sin pi value zero trigonometry values you know right trigonometry table cos pi value cos pi value minus one zero minus one is minus one okay now critical point also you need to find what is that f of uh, critical point you already calculated now. you need to calculate f of pi by four okay calculate f of pi by four okay what you will get sin pi by four plus cos pi by four sin pi by four value one by root two cos pi by four value one by root two which is same as two by root two if you multiply numerator denominator with root two what you will get this is root two root two value is 1.414 we know these things right so now you observe in these values in this value which one is absolute maximum which one is greatest 1.414 is the greatest right 1.414 is the greatest which one is the least minus 1 is the least so what is absolute maximum value absolute maximum value occurs at pi by 4 and that absolute maximum value is 1.414 absolute minimum value occurs at pi and its absolute minimum value is minus 1 so we'll write the same thing so better we'll bring these things from here okay just to save the time okay absolute absolute maximum value occurs at what point absolute maximum value occurs at pi by 4 at x equal to pi by 4 and what is its maximum value is 1.414 okay absolute minimum value absolute minimum value occurs at pi and its minimum value is minus 1 occurs at pi and its minimum value is minus 1 i hope you are understanding this model this is easy this is easy this is not so difficult we won't use first derivative test we don't use second derivative test here right when we do when we do like this when the function is defined on closed interval a comma b okay we'll move to the third bit see third bit okay on which interval that is important on which interval this function is defined on which interval no not this problem okay and they defined on this interval okay this is the function f of x equal to 4x minus 1 by 2 into x square x belongs to this interval here the point is we need to find absolute maxima absolute minima of this function and the function is defined on closed interval a comma b what is the procedure you start with the solution what is the procedure f dash of x okay f dash of x no first you write what is f of x write the function write the function what is f of x right slowly you take copy it okay okay uh what i can do right this is the function f of x uh, we need to find the critical points now. to find the critical points what we'll do we'll uh, calculate f dash of x okay derivative of 4x is what 4 into derivative of x derivative of x is what 1 okay this is 4 minus 1 by 2 into derivative of x square we know derivatives right derivative of x square is 2x this 2 2 will get cancelled what you will get here 4 minus x we need to find x values for that f dash of x is 0 to we are finding critical points that's it if f dash of x equal to 0 that means 4 minus x equal to 0 from that x is equal to what x equal to 4 for this also we got only one x value right now what to calculate we need to calculate f of minus 2 f of 9 by 2 f of 4 these things we need to calculate okay okay all right so first what we will calculate uh, f of minus 2 okay f of minus 2 in this in this in place of x you write minus 2 4 into minus 2 minus 8 minus 1 by 2 into minus 2 whole square minus 2 whole square is 4 that is minus 8 uh, minus 2 minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10 okay now i need to calculate what is that f of 9 by 2 we need to calculate f of 9 by 2 okay in this function in place of x you write 9 by 2 what you will get 4 into 9 by 2 
minus 1 by 2 into 9 by 2 whole square that is 81 by 4. 2 in this uh, 2 times 9 2 are 18 minus 81 by 8. If you simplify this you will get 63 by 8. You simplify you can do it right. So 63 by 8. Next uh, uh, f of 4, we need to calculate f of 4, f of 4, okay, f of 4, calculate f of 4, in place of x you write 4, 4, 4 are 16, minus 1 by 2 into 16, that is 8 times 16 minus 8 is 8, okay, now if you observe in this which one is the least value, which one is the greatest value, here you see this is 63 by 8, see, 63 by 8, 8, eight are 64, na? So this is something like a 7.9 you will get approximately 7.9 something you will get this value. Here 8 is there, right? Here minus 10 is there. So what is the greatest value? Greatest value is 8. What is the least value? Least value is minus 10. So what we say? Right, we will take these things. We will say absolute maximum value, absolute minimum values, right? Okay. So absolute maximum value absolute maximum value occurs at 4 and that absolute maximum value is what 8 and absolute minimum value occurs at minus 2 occurs at minus 2 and that minimum value is what minus 10 I hope you are understanding okay one more bit is there in this with that this problem will be over let's see the, what is the solution for that last problem okay this is the fourth bit okay All right now mm, solution for this problem you see this function is defined on closed interval now, right I just request you to pause this video try this problem or what later you check the answer okay this function is defined on closed interval a comma b and what they are asking finding absolute maxima and absolute minima of this function so what is the first point we will calculate critical values right first what is f of x f of x is x minus 1 whole square plus 3 calculate f dash of x uh, calculate f dash of x derivative of x minus 1 whole square is what chain rule differentiation 2 into 2 into x minus 1 into derivative of x minus 1 derivative of x minus 1 is what 1 minus 0 that is nothing but 1 only right plus derivative of 3 derivative of 3 is what 0 okay if f dash of x equal to 0 if f dash of x equal to 0 that means 2 times of x minus 1 equal to 0 take this 2 to this side 0 divided by 2 is 0 right what you will get here x minus 1 equal to 0 from that what is x x equal to 1 okay we got that x equal to 1 okay now what we will do uh, we need to calculate f of minus 3 f of 1 f of 0 okay calculate uh, f of minus 3 in this function in place of x you write minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 minus 4 whole square is 16 okay 16 plus 3 that is 19 okay next uh, f of 1 here also we got 1 only right so f of 1 f of 1 is what uh, 1 is in this in place of x you write 1 uh, 0 plus 3 right that is 3 so uh, what happened here we got uh, one minute we got two values here now in these two values what is the highest value 19 so absolute maximum uh, at minus 3 absolute maximum absolute maximum occurs at minus 3 and absolute maximum value is 19 okay and absolute minimum value occurs at 1 and that absolute minimum value is 3 see here absolute minimum value is 3 I hope you understand see if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now if you want more courses and you don't want any disturbance like uh, advertisements and all you please download my app BR Max Class and you can check the courses over there and free videos are also will be there. You can check those things. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.